And you so that's... Come on, Scott. No, the, well, the next mistake, of course, is allowing this crisis to build instead of saying, whoa, we need to head this off at the pass. We need to get the inflation right down, get the interest rates right down. Uh, we need to windfall tax these uh, power companies immediately and make sure the people are off the hook. We cannot treat our people like this, or how well, will the they treat us at the at the ballot box? Will the people ever get it back, Sky? Will the people ever get power back? Not unless, not unless you have a strong opposition. Yeah. And at the moment, you've got a weak government and a weak uh -huh. opposition. That's a very bad place for any country to be in. Well, Scotland, is, is you, are you guys on a different level then, do you reckon? Well, uh, well, we've got a strong government and a very weak yeah. opposition. So uh, uh, even to strengthen our government uh, f even more, I think you need a strong opposition. Yeah. You know? It's, it's, to be fair, it's pantomime. It's, it, the, the, the parliament, not, not saying so much about it, but... The House of the Parliament is a bit pantomime at the moment, and it's a bit... Well, yes, because you can have pantomime. It's it's stopped at the moment because they're off. But you can have yeah. pantomime if a government are very full of themselves and don't think, see, if we don't get our act together, the opposition will be in power. You don't know which way, right way is or wrong way, to be honest. Well, you yeah. see, they were very close. I mean, I'm apolitical, as you know, and I'm certainly no lefty. But yeah. Jeremy Corbyn was very, very, very close to being elected. So the newspaper bands, the media bands had to step in and clobber him so that they got somebody in yeah. who was, uh, uh, you know, more uh, more able to be told what to do. You know what I mean? What? Jeremy Corbyn had been a better person to represent the country. Well, than well Jeremy Johnson. Corbyn uh, was a, a true believer in the voice of the people. Yeah. Jeremy Corbyn had spent his life looking after the under. Yeah. So having Jeremy Corbyn now, he would not let the power companies away with that, I can tell you. To this clown, Scotty, to be honest. You know, so, so that would uh, that would have been different. The handling okay. of the pandemic would probably have been different. Uh, I think Labour should have come out against, very clearly against Brexit. Yeah. You know, and then that any, would have just, uh, people could then just have made an easy decision. Do you have any pity for uh, Boris Johnson? Do you feel sorry for him? Uh... I, I feel it's um, a shame. I mean, I'll be absolutely honest with you. I had a conversation 25 years ago at a very, very high level. Yeah. And the Tories were just blowing in the wind. They were where the Labour Party are now. And they were oh. blowing in the wind and they were very short of a leader. And yeah. somebody said to me, this was a, a you know, an off-air conversation, if you like. So I yeah. won't go into any great detail, but right. uh, off-the-record conversation. But somebody said, Scotty, you're a wise man. Who would you suggest for leader for the Tories? Yeah. And I said, well, you don't have a great breadth of choice. And this is a very, very long shot. But have you thought of looking at Boris? Now, please don't think Scotty McClure is responsible for Boris. I said, have you thought of looking at Boris? And this very senior person turned to me and his face lit up. And he said, Boris, yes, Boris. I never thought of that. I said, well, he's a bit of an outsider, yeah. but you know what I mean? This is 25 years ago, you see. No, I said, but that's, that's kind of, it might be worth a shot. Look at everything that's panned out with Brexit and the virus. It's not gone smoothly, has it? Well, you see, 25 years ago, we were in a totally different position. The economy yeah. was very, very healthy. You see? I don't, I don't. And the problem we've got now is the economy has been absolutely decimated by Brexit. Would you say he's a rabbit in his last kind of person, Scott? Well, he is now. But, I mean, yeah. you know, he's quite good at hopping. And do you think it... It's, it's, 
play. It's cleverer than he looks on it. It's cleverer than he makes art in the room, to be honest. It's what? He's a lot more intelligent. Oh, than he's, he's highly, there. highly, highly intelligent. I mean, a top academic was arguing with me. He's not intelligent. No, he's highly intelligent. Uh, because you've got to, you've got to be able to jump through hoops in that job. So he's, he's lacking he, it. Go on. He's lacking. He's lacking in <coughs> people skills, isn't he? Well, I think um, he doesn't understand ordinary people. I think that's yeah. his problem because, um, although his background when he was, I mean, don't get me wrong, he had a very tough upbringing in a lot of ways when he was at home. And, uh, you know, his, his, uh, his, he didn't, I mean, yes, I mean, I'll not go into all that because it's not fair on no, him, no. but he had a tough yeah. home life, uh, you know, and from that point of view. And, um, you know, but I think he doesn't understand just what it's like for ordinary people now. He's got, uh, he's got too much uh, head in the clouds. That's a recipe for disaster, that's got to end, uh... Yes, yes, of course it is. Do you, do you think his tender will last lot? Do you think he'll be in power much longer? Uh, yes, I think he probably will, because I think nobody really is pushing for the poison chalice. Nobody thinks they could be... There's too much going on in the world to yeah. just inherit that and think you're going to have an easy time. So it's all comes on it. Yeah, so he's going to be very busy. So I think he'll be around for a long time. I doubt um, very much will come of... Uh, of the party gate thing, they're trying to sweep it under the table, but obviously yeah. it's a it's a shambles, um, you know. And I think that uh, he'll get involved in all this um, conflict. Yeah, you know. So there we have I it. Mean, Scott, if we if we could send more, then we had to, If we was if we could send more, we would do one. But obviously, we can't, can we? No, we're a bit limited in what we can say on here, you yeah. know, because we don't have freedom of speech any longer in this country, but. Um, having said that, uh, you know, we've, we've just danced around the edge. No, no problem. Glenn, I'm going to have yeah. to dash, la. Nice one, Scott. Have a good bank holiday anyway, Scott. Uh. Quality call, by the way. Dinky do. Nice one, Scott. Dinky do. Take See you, la, la. Dinky do, ta, la, la. Love to the family. Uh, that's our Glenn from the Midlands, ex-Sheffield. Boris, you're joking, Scotty. No, Peter, I...